Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's Saturday. Well, welcome back, guys, for another edition of Vet vs. Vet. I'm back to upset at least half of you watching this. That's not my intention, but if you're upset, I'm sorry. Uh, it's cold again after a very nice week. I'm not complaining that last week was awesome. I got to drive to Corvette a lot. So I've done quite a bit of C5 versus other C5, C6s versus other C6s, but today's kind of like Juggernaut versus Juggernaut. C6. Z06 for C6 ZR1, or if you're in the colonies, Z06 and ZR1. Now, if you follow my channel, you know a few months ago I did a piece on my favorite Corvette ever made, and that is in fact the C6 ZR1. So right away you're like, hey, you, we know you're a biased idiot. However, while making this video at work yesterday, don't judge me, I'm gonna say make, I'm gonna put this little script together. I kind of changed my tune a little bit, and you'll see what I mean at the end. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start with kind of the history and lineage of both, if you will, for the C6 that is. And then we'll talk about performance differences, costs, and kind of like my final thought. And also, if you don't know, the C6, Z06, and the ZR1 are like the pinnacle of the C6 platform. The C6, Z06 came out, and no one ever thought we were gonna get anything more crazy than that. A few years later, the ZR1 gets dumped on us. Even more crazy, but is the price justified? We'll see. All right, so real quick, the C6 Z06, which they budded in 2006, has the seven liter LS7. This engine's all business, all the time. Naturally aspirated at 505 horsepower. It lost a little torquies too. The frame, for the first time, was all aluminum in this platform. The front fenders were carbon fiber. It had a wide body kit, if you're not familiar, a little wider than your standard narrow body C6 and had some very aggressive sticky wide tires in the back and the front too, a little wider of course. All right, the ZR1 real quick. The Z06 was such a hit and GM knew they had quite a few more years of the C6 platform life left. So they were like, you know what? Look, this thing pretty crazy. Let's have a little crazy party. Turn this thing into a freaking monster. Now the ZR1, which they budded in 2009, did not have the seven liter, but in fact the smaller 6.2 liter, but it had a blower. And this thing came with 638 horses. Now, both these cars are fixed roof, meaning the roof has not come off at all. But unlike the Z06, the Z01 had a carbon fiber roof as well that was exposed. Carbon fiber front fenders and splitter and rockers by the door, all carbon fiber. So this made the ZR1 just a little bit lighter than the Z06. And the arrow was ever so better, so it did have a little more downforce, and it could go in a straight line, top end, a little faster at 205. Now the biggest difference is on the exterior, the ZR1 is in fact just a hair wider than the Z06 with its rear hips. Like I already stated, a few more aerodynamic pieces added on the ZR1, and most notably on the hood of the car, it had a polycarbonate plastic where if you looked into it, you could see another piece of plastic covering the supercharger. And the ZR1 had slightly bigger rims, the 20s and 19s, where the Z06 had 1918s. Now aesthetically, looking at both, if you don't know Corvettes at all, or cars at all, they all look the same. But if you know cars a little bit, the Z06, the ZR1, you can tell they're different from the base model. But if you really know Corvette, you can tell they're to you right away. Uh, most notably looking at it, like I said, the hood is a little different, got the little window, and then the front fenders look more like a fighter jet than just kind of like a tapered off little gill, if you will. Now, this is what kind of made me rethink my opinion on the piece I did a few months ago. That is the actual performance numbers of the cars. And is the ZR1 worth the price tag? And what's crazy is that the ZR1 is in fact about 90 pounds heavier than the Z06. Zero to 60. There are 0.4 seconds difference. The Z06 hitting 60 in 3.7, and the ZR1 hitting it in 3.3 seconds. Quarter mile time, the Z06 can do it in 11.6. The ZR1 11.4. I didn't. I knew the ZR1 was faster, but I didn't know in a straight line how close it was to, until making this little video here. And top speed, the Z06 198, the ZR1 205. Probably the biggest performance gain of the ZR1 is braking power. And if you didn't know, the, ZOs, the ZR1 had carbon ceramic brakes, which are crazy expensive, but they do have amazing stopping power. From 60 mile an hour, 
The Z06 takes exactly 100 feet, but the Z01 takes 91 feet. Now on the same platform car, that's quite the difference. And especially since the Z01 does weigh a little more, those little suckers can stop you. Those little brakes, pretty damn good. The base price of these guys when they came out in their respective years. The Z06 could be had at $76,000, which is a crazy performance bargain. However, the ZR1, when it came out, cost $113,000 back in 2009, and that's doing some very crude calculations, probably wrong, probably $125,000 in today's money. That's nuts. That's a difference of $37,000. Now think about it. If you just took the Z06, rectified the head issue they had, you know, you put a, to boost it, throw some stickier tires on it, maybe some brakes, and still have many left over, and you'd probably annihilate the ZR1. So it got me thinking, you know what I mean? And aesthetically, they both look almost identical, minus the carbon roof and the little window on the hood. Man, th this is tough, you know what I mean? This comes down to, do you want it out of the box performance, or do you like to tinker? If you're a tinkerer, like myself, I would probably go for the Z06. Now, if you like the rare Corvette aspect of it, and don't want to mess with it, want to keep it all stock, the Zero One is probably your best bet. Now, if you were to buy one right now, you could scoop up a C6 Z06 in fair, fair or good condition for high 30s. A Zero One, you're going to spend close to 60, if not more. You're paying for that lineage Zero One name, and it comes down to personal preference. I still do love the Zero One because they're so, they're much more rare than the Z06. They are very similar, minus the power plants. But man, after making this, I don't know if the Zero One is my favorite C6 or Corvette at all. The C5 Z06 with a naturally aspirated 505 horsepower is pretty damn cool. And as you know, I did a video on best power plants too recently, and I, if I'm mistaken, the LS7 was my favorite. It just, it sounds cool and it reps high. So I'm kind of torn. I don't know, honestly, gun in my head, I don't know. There it is, I said it. I don't know what my favorite Corvette is anymore. Thanks a lot, article I just made. Again, this whole video is, it's subjective. You know what I mean? It's just me talking rhetoric like an idiot. But yeah, I don't know. There you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if, if someone out there is in the market for a zero, one or zero, six, hopefully this made it harder for you. That wasn't my intention. <sighs> so. All right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy my Saturday. And I advise you guys do the same. And I'll catch you guys probably Monday, maybe Tuesday. I'm not really sure. Mark out.